There's nothing. I, I know that God answered my prayer. Uh-huh. There's nothing I have asked God for and he had done. All right, then. Look. That may be true for you, but it may not be true for everybody Amen. that's under the sound of my voice. Yeah. 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 And I stand and tell you, God has not answered all my prayers. No. Sometimes God just says nothing. All right. Sometimes God says yes, and sometimes God will say no, because if, we, if God answers all our prayers, the things we want, the things we desire, I believe we will run away from God. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't give God the glory the way we should to because the way we should because God has done this for us and we take advantage of God because we know if He answered all of them, we would turn our back on Him. Yeah. But what, what, how can you prove to me, Brother McSween, that God don't answer prayer? Well, I can go back into the book of Samuel. Uh -huh. And Saul's enemy was after him. And right. Saul began to pray, and God answered him not a word. All right. All right. Come on. I don't want to stay too, too, too far in that story, but, but, but God didn't answer Saul. And so Saul went to seek a meeting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A woman with a familiar spirit, uh -huh. which was a soothsayer. Uh -huh. Somebody that cast roots on you. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about. Maybe somebody here visit them every now and then. Yeah. I have given and dabbled in that mess every now and then. Right. <laughs> but anyway, that's what Saul did. And, uh -huh. and he said, she asked, he went and told her and said, do this for me. And won't no harm come to you. And so she brought up Samuel. Uh -huh. She brought up Samuel. Yeah. That's just that simple story. And uh -huh. I have another story I could go to. Uh -huh. Well, Paul, what do you have to say about God not answering your prayer? Uh -huh. See, if I say Saul, because if I talk about Saul, we'll say Saul was out of line in the first place. Saul was a bad person in the first place. But if I say something about Paul, y'all uh -huh. <laughs> start wondering then. Yeah. All right. Why would I say Paul's prayers weren't always answered? Uh -huh. Well, let me get your curiosity on out of the way. Uh -huh. The Bible said Paul prayed three times. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. About the same Man. thing. Yeah. That's what the Bible said. And I believe that the first time God didn't say anything, but, but God let him ponder these things. Uh, God didn't say a word. Because some things we got to learn by experience. Amen. We got to go through some things before God moved his hand. And so Paul prayed again uh, about the same thanks. situation. Uh, and I believe that in that case, God still didn't say anything. Uh -huh. Paul had to sit there like the old folks used to say, sit there and fold your arms uh -huh. okay. and meditate on the Lord. Yeah. Then I believe that Paul just wouldn't give up. Uh -huh. And God said, since you continue to pray for me about the same thing and you act like you can't do nothing about it, let me tell you something, Paul. My grace Since you can't handle what you're going through, All right. since you're coming at me every night and every day, since you can't handle what you're going through, let me tell you something about my grace, Paul. Uh -huh. It's sufficient. Yes, it is. When you understand that God's grace is sufficient to, to keep you and to, to hold you in the heart of his hand, you don't have to need nothing else. Okay. It's all about God's grace. Yes, sir. That's another story I can tell you, but I, I want to talk this thing out a little bit because sometimes Amen. when I'm talking, I get ahead of myself. Amen. Dealing with the silence of God. 
when God says no. Uh -huh. Everybody in here has ran across that once or twice yeah. uh -huh. in our life. When we pray yeah. for something to take place Amen. and it didn't seem like God was going to move yeah. uh -huh. All right. when we thought he was going to move. Uh -huh. yes, it didn't seem like God was going to make the people that's bothering you uh. be quiet. It didn't seem like the job was going to get even easier for you, but you kept going to the job. But Brother McSwain, what do you do when God says no? You have to keep on trusting. You have to trust God when he says nothing, when he's not moving in your life. When you think God is not moving, you got to trust God. Oh, yeah. When the storms of life are raging, you got yeah. to trust God. Yeah. When the doctor has given up on you, you got to trust God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You got to be a servant. Yeah. Yes, sir. What do you mean by being a servant? Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Brother Russ say, he's an example that. And that day, that night that he came to church, he wasn't dressed in church clothes. Uh -huh. And so it wasn't the clothes that you had on uh -huh. that made the woman see that you was a Christian. Uh -huh. It had to be something on your face. Mm -hmm. It had to be something down on the inside to say you are a Christian. Mm -hmm. yeah. That you belong to God. Yeah. Remember Moses when he came off the mountaintop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, his yeah. face, his confidence oh, oh, yeah. was shining. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't even look at him. But they knew he had been oh, with yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's something about being with God. Yeah. You can go to work the next day and yeah. people on the job and say, look, like something is different about you. Yeah. Your confidence don't even look the same. Matter of fact, the back of your head don't even look the same. It's something about being with God. But being with God don't mean always that he's going to answer your prayer. It doesn't mean that you're being disobedient. Sometimes God wants to sit you down so you can learn something. Yeah. If I was to go off every time somebody say something about me, uh -huh. every time somebody talk about me, uh -huh. I would be no better than that person. So what I want to do is sit down and be quiet and say nothing. Because if God don't give me, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I I That's right. Mm. That's why I call him. Because yes, I need his help. Yes, sir. And I can't do some things by myself. So when I make my petition before the Lord, yeah. and he begins to hear my prayer, yeah. it's not that he's late. Yeah. My God is always on time. On time. That's why I, 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 I get to myself. And I told y'all I stayed by myself, and that's all right, too. And I monitor my phone because the wrong number might call me. Want to talk about this and that? Yes, sir. Want to talk about the church folks? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't have time for foolishness Woo. in my life. I got to be able to stand up behind this rock and tell yes, what's right and what's wrong, yes, sir. Yes, sir. regardless of who it is. Yeah. But God says nothing. Yes, sir. He says nothing. Even to the crying mother that just lost a child, mm -hmm. God says nothing. Even to the father that just lost his child, mm -hmm. God says nothing.
God has forgotten about you. It seems like God has walked away from you. You pay your tithes. You are faithful church now. You do what's asked for you. But God says no. Why would God say nothing when you're in trouble? Is it possible that you have to learn something behind the trouble that you're in? Is it possible that he has to get you into a place that the only one you can depend on is him? Is, is it possible? That God has to lay you down on the bed of affliction for you to look up. Is it possible God has to get you behind prison walls for you to look up? Is it possible just like on yesterday? Brother Roy, I was going down the road and I was going down 177 and it looked like the van wasn't going to stop at the stop sign and, and it looked like it was going to keep on coming and hit me from the side. But it stopped. Is it possible that something almost has to happen in your life? Hey, come on. Before God, we started looking up the uh-huh. Is that the reason why God sometimes don't say anything? Come on. I don't know. No, no. But I'm learning to Thank wait on yeah. yeah. right. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Whether he say yes or no, I'm learning to wait on God. Yeah. Let me move on Thank in my story, God. Sometimes waiting is a hard thing for black folks to do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Get in trouble and time is almost up. And we sing that song, I'm just sitting here waiting on Jesus. But when time almost up, come on. waiting to go. Uh -huh. I got to make a move for hey, myself. Hey, God, you're not moving fast hey, enough. I got to do something for myself. Hey, right. Waiting is a hard thing. But let me tell you about another story yeah. that happened many, many years ago when my Lord and your Savior. Uh -huh. We get ready to close now. Uh -huh. and, and they called up with Jesus one Friday night and they took him before Pilate. Uh -huh. And Pilate asked him a question. Pilate said, Don't you see how many witnesses they have against you? Uh -huh. And the Bible said, Jesus said, No. Uh -huh. They whipped them all. Not long, and Jesus said, No. They put a crown of thorn on his head, and Jesus said, No. He hung and died, and Jesus still said nothing. But, but the reason why Jesus didn't say anything because he knew all he had to do was dial up heaven and ask God to dispatch the angel and tell him to stop by the powerhouse and glory and dip his wings. And take on the confidence of an angel and fly down. Roll this old stone away because ain't no grave gonna be able to hold me. Ain't no power on earth can keep me in the ground. Ain't no power can do me like Jesus. Nobody do me like Jesus. Told the angel to come down. Taking a confidence. Oh, Just like life. Yes, yes, yes. Fly down. Yes, yes. Roll away this old stone. Yes. I got to get up from here. Yes. I got to finish unfinished business to do. Yes. And sometimes the devil makes me happy, but yes. God said I got some unfinished business to do. He said I got to get up from here. Yes. 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 That's one reason why God is saying the thing. He said I got to get up. Because if we would have said one thing, that would have been the end of this mission. Yes, sir. But he didn't say a word. 
That's what I love about God. And that's what we're going to have to do as church folks. Yes, sir. I'm going to put this thing together one Sunday. Y'all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to put it together. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to talk about that angel. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That just dipped his wings. Oh, yeah. In the powerhouse. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm going to talk about it. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And when he dipped his wings mm-hmm. and he began to fly, yeah. heaven trembled. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said there was three. Uh-huh. They began to trip. Uh-huh. But when it hit third, uh-huh. earth busted wide open. Yeah. Uh-huh. Burst the wide open. Thank you. The earth stayed. The earth trembled. The Bible says there was a great earthquake. Uh-huh. I have to clear it up for the scholars looking at the kind of thing. Uh-huh. I have to clear it up for the scholars were looking at it. The Bible said there was an earthquake. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. They just got up. Uh-huh. Amen. I look at the stars. <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, I love it. Amen. Well, uh, let's go. That's all right. Thank you. Amen. Y'all understand. Amen. 